on Hennepin Sports 84. So there's this fight coming up between Erickson Lubin and Jamel Chalo. The fight is looking to be <clears throat> held on the 30th of September. This is for the middleweight, a junior middleweight title. This is a great fight to be made. I think um, I made a video about Erickson Lubin. His fight was on the undercard of Thurman Garcia. I think way back in April. And I was I made my sessions of my assessment of him. Erickson Lubin is looking like a really good fighter. I was really impressed with his performance uh, in his last outing. That was, I think he scored a uh, knockout. I forgot his opponent. But he put on a spectacular performance and I, I, I'm really having high hopes for him. But unfortunately, he's coming up against another fighter who is putting out spectacular performances. So this is it's looking like a, a one hell of a fight. Because Jamal Charlo is looking really good lately. The first time I saw his fight against uh, one of his fights, he scored a knockout, but he wasn't looking really impressive. The, the other fighter was like, at boxing him, and he eventually got a knockout. But after that fight, the guy is on a tear. He's looking very, very impressive in the subsequent fights. So this is looking like one hell of a fight. It's really hard to pick. Uh, how do you call it? It's really hard to pick to take sides in this fight. It's looking like a 50-50 fight. But the edge slightly goes to Jamel Charlo because of his experience at the top. Erickson Lubin, with all his uh, great attributes, he hasn't had a, had a taste of of the, how do you call it, of this level of uh, competition yet. And Jamel has, so that is his slight edge over Lubin. But that could easily be erased if Lubin is up to the task. Because Lub Lubin, uh, he's looking like a very good boxer. Very, very good boxer. He has, his timing is impeccable and he has uh, power in his punches. I'm not too sure if Jamal Charlo has really faced somebody with a strong punching power like Lubin. I'm not too sure. I'm not sure how he's going to deal with the, <laughs> with the punching power of Lubin. It's looking like a great all-around fight. Very, very interesting fight. And uh, uh, probably an underrated fight. I'm not sure if this fight is going to get the attention that it deserves. Because this is a, a really, really like how do you call it top-notch fight that should be having a lot of bars but i'm not sure to be getting it so we wait to see how this fight pans out i really can't pick a, a winner but if i was pressed against the wall i think i'll go with Charlo because he has the experience experience at the top level but i'm not counting looking out I was, I was really impressed with this last outing and I'm sure he has something in store for Charlo. I think he has been, uh, how do you call it, asking for this fight for a really long time. This is not even, he has really been after Charlo for a long time now. So, this is familiar territory to him. He's known Charlo for a while now and he knows he can beat him. So, he's coming in with a lot of confidence and anything can happen with that. So, as we get closer to the fight, or even if the fight is made, because I'm not sure if they've, they've uh, how do you call it, they've settled everything about the fight. I think they are yet to make the final, put the final touches to the fight. So as the fight is made and the time gets closer, I'll be taking a closer look at the fight and making some preview videos of that. Well, if you like the commentary, subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Thank you for your time. Catch you in the next video. Bye for now.